Hey everyone, it's Robin from Rose and Lily. In this video, we're going to crochet this cute little candy corn. This pattern works up really quickly, so it's great for a last minute gift. First you'll need some chunky or super chunky plush yarn in white, orange and yellow. You'll also need a USG crochet hook or a hook to match the yarn you're using as well as polyfill, safety eyes, scissors, a yarn needle, and I always recommend using stitch markers. These stitches you need to know beforehand are magic ring, single crochet, increase and decrease. We're going to start at the top and work down. So with white yarn, in round one, it's six single crochet in a magic ring. I have a detailed tutorial on how I like to do the magic ring and I'll put a link to that at the top of the video. Pull the ring tight. And as always, I'll be putting a stitch marker in the last stitch of each round. In round 2, we do a single crochet in the first stitch. And then an increase, which is 2 single crochet into the next stitch. And we do all of that again, so a single crochet, followed by an increase. And for the third time, a single crochet, and an increase. This brings us up to 9 stitches in total for round 2. In round 3, it's 2 single crochet, and then an increase, which is 2 single crochet into 1 stitch. And we do all of that 3 times in total. This brings the total of round 3 up to 12 stitches. In round 4 we aren't increasing, we're just doing one single crochet into each stitch. This means we're doing 12 stitches. But stop before you do the last stitch because we're going to do a colour change. Here's our last stitch of round 4. And I'm stopping before pulling through the final loop because we're going to change to orange. So I'm just going to tuck that starting tail away and then we're going to pull through the orange loop to complete the stitch. I like to first twist the new colour under the old colour before pulling through, but you can do the colour change however you like. I'll do the next one or two stitches over those tails. In round 5, it's 3 single crochet, and then an increase, and we do all of that 3 times to get 15. In round 6, it's 4 single crochet, and then an increase. We do all of that 3 times to get 18.
In round 7 we just do 18 single crochet around. But stop in the last stitch because we're going to change to yellow. Here's the last stitch of round 7 and I'm stopping before pulling through the final loop. Once again I'm twisting the new colour under the old colour before pulling through. As I said before you can do the colour change however you prefer. In round 8 it's 5 single crochet followed by an increase. We do all of that 3 times which brings us up to 21 stitches. In round 9 it's 6 single crochet and then an increase. We do that 3 times to get 24. In round 10 we do 24 single crochet around. Now we're going to attach the eyes and they are going between round 6 and 7 and about 4 stitches apart. Once you're happy with the placement you can attach the backs. In round 11 we're going to start decreasing, so we do a single crochet and then a decrease and I like to do the invisible decrease like so. We do that single crochet followed by a decrease 8 times in total. This will bring the total of round 11 to 16. If you like you can stuff the piece after round 11 but I'm going to do it after round 12. In round 12 we're doing 8 decreases. This means we're going from 16 stitches in the round down to 8. Then you can remove the stitch marker and cut the yarn leaving a bit of a tail for sewing. Now we can add the stuffing. Mm -hmm. 
Lastly, we're going to sew the hole closed using the yarn needle. I like to go through the front loops of the last 8 stitches. Then pull on the yarn tail and this should close the hole. Just press the bottom flat like so. Insert the yarn into the piece and bring it through to a few places at the bottom. Now you can leave it like this, but I like to add a little bit of white behind the eyes. So I just have a short length of white yarn. And I'm going in at the back and just bringing it through to the top of the eye as close as possible. And insert it on the underside of the eye once again as close as possible and bring it through to the opposite side. You can use your needle to push it behind the eye. Continue to the top of the second eye and bring the yarn tail through to meet the first one. Then you can tie these yarn tails together and then just weave in the ends. And that is the little candy corn completed. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. The free written pattern for the candy corn will be up on my website.